Every year, 750,000 children go missing in America. Of those, 58,000 are abducted by someone outside the family. The vast majority of cases are solved in the first 48 hours, but so many times, strangers in the neighborhood are the ones who have helped. So for more now on what all of us watching tonight can do for our neighbors, I talked to John Walsh, host of America's Most Wanted, about what he sees when he looks at Cleveland. I look at a wonderful occurrence, and I look at two incredible heroes. One, Amanda Berry, who knew she had to get out of that house of hell alive and get her little daughter out of there and never stop trying. And of course, Charles Ramsey. For me, it was incredible to see these three missing women and this child alive because of one man that said, I am going to help a woman in distress. He did not walk away. So for everyone at home watching this, tell them what to watch for. Tell them small things that should cause them to take action. Absolutely. Your gut feeling. I, I mean, I could talk about 50 things that people should do, but your gut feeling, if you see something that's wrong, it, you're, you're not stepping over the boundaries. You're not being a snitch. You're not being a nosy neighbor. What's the worst thing you could do? Be wrong and you'd have to apologize? And don't be afraid of being the cranky neighbor. What if you were the cranky neighbor that saved those three women and that little girl's life five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago? So what, you're embarrassed for five minutes, you could save a life. John Walsh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.